stop it. Raila warns Matiangi on judges. On that, on the side of that story, Ruto allies go all out for his 2022 bid. And of course, the Commonwealth Games kick off in Australia as a Gold Coast 2018. And there's a photo of the Kenyan team arriving for that event. On the star, Raila set to be AU special envoy. President Huru Kenyatta leading talks with AU Commission to appoint the NASA leader to the League of Respected Continental Statesmen who oversee peace efforts in different parts of Africa. Interesting. I've already introduced my panelists. Chris Wamalwa, MP Kiminini, also the Deputy Minority Whip in the National Assembly and Kimani Wamatangi, Senator Kiambu County. Uh, we do understand Senator Mutula Kilonzo from Makueni will not be able to make it. He had confirmed that he will be part of the panel this morning though. Gentlemen, good morning and karibuni sana. Uh, quite a number of big headlines today, but probably we kick off with what has been making a lot of debate um, countrywide for the past two days, and that's what uh, your colleague in Kiambu, uh, the woman representative, Gadoni Wamushomba, <laughs> said about polygamy. Uh, yes. If my director could assist me with that, uh, what, uh, mm -hmm. let's get the clip uh, by the woman representative. It's a men-only cultural ceremony at Gidunguri, Kiambu County. The men have gathered for the slaughtering of a goat. A process to bless a young man who's just bought a new car. The village elders here are also discussing recent remarks by Kiambu woman representative on polygamy. When we heard our polygamous fathers and our forefathers, what wrong did they do? What crime did they commit? And why did we term it as a crime now? Ni jabu inafuwa manake, si wanawake ni wengi hata kushida wanaume. Kusema kweli kuna wale wanawesa, kuliko kuwa na mabibu wengi wakando, alafu kutoka hapo, tuna watoto wamesaliwa, sababu hile kitu tunajari sana ni hawa watoto. The men here, especially the elderly, support the idea. The woman representative Gadoni Wamushomba, however, says her sentiments were meant as a solution for broken families with children who end up being consumed by social vices. Kiambu is among the counties topping in alcohol abuse. She says polygamy could just be one of the solutions for Kiambu. Yeye yako na mali na angetaka kuwasaidia lakini amefungwa nasema fungueni wazee fungueni wazee ili wa wawe na uhuru wa kutengeneza watoto wao kuangalia watoto wao polygamy she says would help the children and in turn help the society but a section of women in Kiambu have a different opinion bring me another core if it's like you are bringing poverty in my house so it's a no and a no for me Wasaya wengi hawa yuko job, wanasidanga kwa kabe wa mesupa. Na badala ya, ya msea yuko kasi, hamea pipi wa sita wa saba. Ni nani atakura, ni nani atakosa. Nobody is forcing you. But as a leader, it is my duty to tell you. It is my duty to give you suggestions. The Marriage Bill 2014 legalized polygamy in customary marriages. Christians, however, restricted to one wife unless a court okays divorce. If you are able to bring up your children, those you have sired when you're in secondary, you sired when you're in campus, you sired when you're young in business, take care of your children. The men finish their cultural ceremony. They say the alcohol problem in the county needs more work, more mentoring. The debate about polygamy, they say, remains a matter of choice. They still respect the charge laws, they say. The polygamy debate is a hot topic here. It depends on who you ask, but everyone is in agreement that the alcohol problem has to be dealt with. It is definitely one of the biggest debates currently in Kenya, and I can just see even on Twitter, Honorable Abdikadir Aiden says, I agree with Honorable Gadoni Wamoshomba, Kiambu County MP. Her suggestion is practical and will solve many problems in our society today. We should not run away from polygamy, only to cheat and father many children out there irresponsibly. Heko Mheshimiwa, he concludes. A very interesting cartoon on page 16 of the Standard this morning. Uh, and it appears to show... Wamoshomba, because that's what one person is branded, are uh, dragging women back to the Stone Age. That's the opinion page. So that's an opinion piece by one of the contributors to the standard this morning. And the headline reads, Stop it, polygamy is an affront to women folk. 
Yes, yesterday we got a chance to get uh, the opinions of uh, the all-female news review panel and uh, very interesting opinions uh, because even the women were divided with regard to that. But today we have two gentlemen uh, <laughs> from different, uh, very different parts of this country, one from the National Assembly, the other one from the Senate. Uh, let's start with you, Mona Chris Omalu. Uh, do you agree with what uh, Gadoni Wamoshomba, your colleague in the National Assembly, says? Because she says it is simply a suggestion. She's not telling people to go out and do it. But according to her, she believes it will help resolve or rather remedy some of the ills afflicting society. Uh, <coughs> I want to answer this question uh, on two perspectives. One, as a legislator, and two, I'm the chairman of the Catholic Members of Parliament. Okay. So I'll go a bit into the doctrine of the church. Now, when you look at the Marriage Act, which we passed in the last parliament, it is true there's provision for polygamy, and uh, there's also provision for monogamy, that is the Christian marriage. And uh, this is why, from the church perspective, we advocate for one man, one woman. Mm -hmm. But uh, when you look at the Marriage Act, there's also a provision of, uh, on dissolution of, uh, of, uh, of that marriage, and someone can convert from, uh, a poly uh, from a monogamy, that is Christian marriage, into a polygamy. Yes. So whatever all is said, they are provided for in the Marriage Act. Yes. But from the Christian perspective, and the doctrine of the church, it's only Muslims who are advocate for polygamy. It's provided for where they can go up to four. Mm -hmm. And if you want to go beyond, you can divorce one and have room for another one. For a long time, uh, in the Catholic Church, we never had any provision for the dissolution of marriage. And that's why it says that uh, we be together till death parts us. So when you get married in church, or if you see somebody putting on a ring, like the way I'm doing is here, uh, that tells you that's a Christian a symbol of the Christian marriage and is one man, one wife. Mm. So what Kadoni Wamujomba is saying, I think it's based on the you must understand the context where yes. she's coming from. Mm -hmm. And the Kadoni Wamujomba, she's one of the vocal legislators that we have uh, in this current parliament. I remember even the very first time she was elected. She likes handling those controversial issues where you find some legislators will not touch. For example, when she came in, she was very quick to talk about the salary, the remuneration of mm -hmm. members of parliament. She was actually condemned. And uh, she and some, some members of parliament thought this is a woman who can speak on our behalf. And many people wanted her actually to go to the commission of the Parliamentary Service Commission, whereby you talk about the welfare of the members. But unfortunately, the attack on the ground was too much. So coming back to this, I think the context you're speaking from We've had her clearly saying that we have people who have children. You've said these children, maybe you are still in high school, you are still at the university, and you never married their mother. Actually, when you look at that three of the Constitution, which talks about the rights of the children, both parents have a right mm -hmm. in terms of providing for them. So to me, what she's saying is actually provided for in the law, though it contradicts my, my Catholic doctrine. Mm -hmm. So what I want to say is there's nothing new. Actually, whatever she's saying, if you have a child one way or another, there's a circumstances under which you that child before you got married, you should take the responsibility but and Senator, take care of those children. Senator, uh, because uh, you come from the same county as uh, Gadamino Moshoba, yes. and uh, she seemed to address some of the issues affecting uh, where she comes <coughs> from. Uh, she feels that uh, polygamy will help resolve some of those issues uh, that are prevalent. Um, I'm presuming in Kiambu, uh, a number of children, um, well, many children who do not know who their fathers are, and she feels that polygamy probably is the best remedy for that. Do you do you see it from that perspective as well? I, I think uh, two issues. One, uh, uh, when when uh, Honorable Moshamba was speaking about this, it's my conviction that uh, she was looking at the wider and uh, you know and bigger issues around Central Kenya. Mm -hmm. And, and one of the major debates right now in, in the entire of the central Kenya region is, is the declining uh, population of, of, of the region. And, and, and remember, we have had several incidents uh, in various parts of, 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 the, of that area, uh, beginning from uh, Kiambu, sometimes in Nyeri, uh, and uh, Kirinyaga, Embu. You've seen women taking to the streets with uh, twigs demonstrating mm -hmm. that their men have uh, taken off from home 
and uh, those who have not taken off uh, are unable to, 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 to meet their obligations yes. uh, for that matter. And, uh, and, and it becomes an issue. Secondly, uh, you know, there is then the, the, the prevailing uh, debate on, on uh, the effect of alcoholism in, in the entire region. Uh, that, that, that's another issue. And then thirdly, one would, would argue, and uh, this is probably where I would place myself, you know, how, how sincere do people want to get about this debate? Uh, because you, you, you would place it in the category of three other issues that have really stood in, the, in, in that thin line of, of who wants to be seen where. One, for example, on the, on, on the big discussion about celibacy, uh, for example, in, in, in the Catholic faith. Uh, two, probably in the Christian faith in, in, is the, in its entirety, the discussion about uh, uh, abortion. And, and then now this debate about polygamy. It comes and stands in between there. If you look at the laws that we have, uh, they have uh, not, not been very straightforward or, or, or definitive on those particular issues. And, and now on this one of, of polygamy, if you look at our constitution, uh, it's, it's, it's open-ended as far as that's concerned. It, it, it really leaves the debate uh, or, mm -hmm. or the decision to the individual. And, and finally, that's why one would say at the end of the day, this becomes a very individual decision. Yes. Culturally, if you look at, um, for example, the Muslim faith and, uh, and, 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 and their communities, it is that they are allowed to have more than one wife, four wives. As, uh, but, but if you speak to any Muslim, what they'll be telling you is the provision or the, uh, that, that, that open sphere where you can have your four wives is also uh, precluded to only the extent that you can be able to take care of those wives. You uh, have to be able to. You have to be able to take yes. care of them. Uh, so you cannot just go and say... And is that ability is simply be, down to finances? No, that if well, you have I mean, the money, economic... Uh, well, a lot of it, uh, <laughs> even, even, even when uh, Wamashomba is speaking about it, that's r really what she's pointing at. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, she's saying, why do you, uh, why, why do you want to have so many people either, uh, you know, languishing or, or women in, in poverty? So it, it is just so a matter of spreading maybe. the world. But so the question is, and my question is, because, yes, you agree under polygamy, were, because I don't think she was just talking about polygamy for the sake of polygamy. Yes. Uh, there, of course, there are those who support it, those who don't. But she was... Uh, looking at it as a remedy to particular issues that affect a particular uh, area, and I'm um, assuming Kiambu. Yes. But coming from there, do you think that polygamy is the best remedy for, for, for some of those? Uh, oh, well, uh, you, you cannot, you, you, cannot uh, you, you can't employ it as, as, as a, you know, as, as, as a cure to specifically uh, yes. deal with, 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 with uh, specific community issues. But, but it's one of the big debates. And, and uh, what, what Chris said, and this is what it boils down to, is, is, you see, in this current time and age, and as you've seen in that mm -hmm. standard uh, cartoon, as you showed there, uh, most of our communities have now been, uh, you know, uh, christened, or, or we've been, uh, uh, you know, taken on to the Christian faith. And uh, mm -hmm. says he's the chairperson of the, of the Catholics uh, in, in Parliament. I'm a, I'm a practicing uh, Christian in the in, in the ACK Church, and and so when when now you 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 compare that or juxtapose it with what your faith dictates, that's how you make the decision. So, so, so it's and, 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 and finally, and, and finally you, you, ask, you ask yourself that, that question. Mm -hmm. That, um, uh, and you know, Moshima said that, uh, you know, when you see his ring, <laughs> then you know who he is. <laughs> you know what he means. And, and of course, I would say the same. I'm you see my interesting but, but, but the question you're, is, you're very the, 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 the question to, to is, polygamy, finally, uh, from the church's perspective. Yes. But do you think that uh, uh, for those people who do not Maybe. necessarily practice the Christian faith mm. that it could help uh, tackle or remedy some of these problems that afflict society away from uh, the Christian faith. Uh, first and foremost, uh, Fred, I want to make it clear that uh, I advocate for monogamy, the Christian marriage, one man, one wife. But looking at Wamujomba, we want to understand the context where she's coming from. Mm. I don't know whether herself she's in a polygamy marriage. You know, we need to understand where she's coming from. Mm -hmm. I wish you could get an opportunity to bring her here to explain herself. We want to understand where she's coming from. But listening to the issue of Kiambu, one of the things she said, and which uh, Mwishimua Senator has uh, alluded to, that when you go to Kiambu particularly, 
you will find men who who do not uh, maybe who cannot achieve their objective in terms of the conjugal rights and you've seen women demonstrating in the streets that some of them have gone <coughs> into alcoholism and Mwishmiwa Matangi has clearly said that the population is going down. Yes. So in the context of those people who have the capacity, so so maybe they are advocating, yeah, yes. it's a remedy because I've seen many, I've been told many nursery schools have closed yes. and they want the uh, population to continue in this political scenario. So the few able yeah, men yeah, should maybe, do more. Yeah, and being able <laughs> is not just in terms of financial, yes. it is also in terms of performance, yes. listening to what he said. Yes. And we need to understand <laughs> where is Womujomba coming from? I don't know. I know she's a Christian. Uh, the, the little time we've, uh, we've interrogated, <laughs> we have discussed with her. So is she in a polygamy marriage? Or maybe you'll tell us more. That's why I thought yes. she, it's like an empirical study so yes. that she can come and <laughs> shed more light. The main question uh, here yeah. is, can polygamy be used to remedy any of these ills that it'll, afflict it'll society in worsen. any part, in any part of the country? Well, well uh, you know, Fred, uh, culture, if you, look at, if you look at the history of you know, you know, African communities, mm -hmm. you, you realize that, um, yes, compared to the Western culture, it, it was indeed, if one would uh, look at it that way and be frank about it, that, that, that it remedied many social ills yes. and, and, and problems in, in our cultural setup. Uh, because, you see, if you look at the days of our grandfathers, and uh, as she was saying, yes. really, because, because that's a reality that we, we must address. Before, uh, you know, we embraced uh, the Western culture of one, one, one man, one wife, uh, believed in, in, in the Christian uh, teaching. Earlier on, when our forefathers and, and, and our grandfathers had their one, two, three, four wives, you find that this issue was was really not a very big issue mm -hmm. because then uh, society was 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 that way. Now uh, the, the the issue, and that's uh, what I say, I would call it the dichotomy of of, yes. of it all. Oh, is 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 here? You are. You have. A, 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 you know, a, a community that is uh, Christian that believes in the doctrines and the teachings of the Bible, and 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 do they practice them? That's that, that's that, that's the main question. Mm -hmm. And and because most of them do not, that is the that's the reality. And and uh, be, because she was asking uh, all those then single women who are out there, you know, with their, mm -hmm. you know, with, with, with their children, all those single mothers you see meeting, yes. then, then then who who are their husbands? Or who are the fathers of their children? Yes. Yeah, that, that, that's the question, and it is those Christian men, you know, for, for that matter. Yes. So I believe uh, that uh, what what she was saying has a place in the discussion of 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 of, of society, but but and uh, as they say, you cannot legislate either to to, to the heart of or, or, or to the faith of people, but but the end of it all is if Chris or I or the other person, chooses to live their Christian life, then they must truly be those Christians and make sure that what they're doing really is, is about it. it. If, <laughs> if they do it differently, then they can only resort to the Wamushomba <laughs> solution. You, so. you know, yes. gentlemen, and I have to say this, yesterday I hosted uh, three uh, female uh, panelists, yes. and they were more open about this debate than yes. I'm getting you to be, because... Uh, Yes, there's one who yes uh, spoke from the side of the church. Mm. There were two lawyers, one who spoke uh, legally, the other one said, yes, she's open yeah. to even polygamy, mm. despite the fact that she's educated, exposed, and all these things. Uh, but I find it that women are more uh, liberal or open-minded to discuss these issues, mm. but men do not want to be seen discussing this <laughs> because they do not want to be thought <laughs> as being unchristian. Yes. Well, well, now, the, the, the issue here is uh, maybe before Senator comes in, traditionally and customary, polygamy was allowed. And the circumstances have really changed. When you look at the traditional marriages, our forefathers, at that particular time, we never had economic hardships the way we have at the moment. The issues of HIV AIDS, they were not there. Mm -hmm. The issue of... Uh, of, uh, you know, land has been a critical issue. If you have land, you can marry many wives because uh, we believe that land was one of the assets that children must, must inherit. Yes. But look at the circumstances. Present, we have the threat, economic hardships. People are going to, they're going into issues of uh, population control. You know, you cannot just have children open-ended the way you used to have. 
with economic hardships many majority of Kenyans right now they either having four children two one even some are even adopting yes. so the economic hardships cannot allow us to continue the way it was the emerging issues of HIV AIDS you know you, you can't afford to go back to those days the way it used to be Li lifestyle has totally changed yes. and again traditionally the the issues of Christianity had not institutionalized but right now because with the emerging cases of Christianity it does not advocate okay. for polygamy you have a lot of demerits uh -huh. and that's why as I stand here today I'm advocating for people to go for monogamy. monogamy. It will resolve some of the problems. Yes. But now, maybe finally, like uh, I remember in the in the NASA manifesto when you went around campaigning <coughs> with the PM uh, Raila Molo Dinga, there was that provision that when NASA forms government, it is going to provide for single mothers because it's it's indeed in our society it's a problem. Mm -hmm. You find so many single mothers, uh, maybe their their husbands have taken off or maybe they got children they don't want to to get married and they have children they cannot take care of mm -hmm. and in our i remember in our nasa manifesto there was that provision <coughs> to take care of those single mothers and how to provide education yes. for their children so indeed in the society it is indeed it is a, a problem. problem senator finally on this matter you mentioned the fact that uh, population growth or population uh, uh, the slowdown in population growth is uh, a cause of concern and probably that is what uh Gedoni Omoshombo was trying to uh, allude to yeah. uh, how much of a threat is it? Because, yes, there's been discussion even on social media that there are concerns that the Mount Kenya region uh, has slowed down Alcoholism. and therefore as a voting bloc could suffer in future if at all they do not uh, resolve uh, matters to do with population growth. Uh, well, uh, three very quick things. First, uh, is that, um, even if I was to answer that question from a scientific or statistical uh, perspective, I would, I would tell you, you know, for... for, for for human beings, for a man and a woman, once they, they, they get married and live together, for them to be able to replace themselves, mm -hmm. uh, the world statistical accepted figure that, that, that would help you or, or would ensure that you, re you continue to replace yourself as people is at least you'd have to have at least 2.1. Uh, sure. Of course, there's, there's yes. no, no 0.1 or whatever, but mm -hmm. you'd have to have at least 2.1 of the average of all families in children. Yes. Now, if you look at the trends right now, well, you find that most of the families in central Kenya and other places, uh, because of uh, you know education and exposure to Western cultures, most of our our, our young ladies once you, once you marry them, they want to have one child mm -hmm. and close it at that point. And so that that becomes a, a big concern because uh, you're seeing that you're not even able to replace yourselves. And so that so you can answer that from that that particular perspective. But two, then going now down, down into the heart of the debate itself, you would ask yourself: There's been this continued talk about do you want to regalize prostitution just because it happens and the Christian faith teaches different mm -hmm. uh, out of it and you say, we say it as immoral but it happens. Now lastly, I would give you a practical example from my own community also. I remember going to an occasion and uh, my own bishop was preaching and when he was preaching he was asking people, was theirs like me now, you know, mm -hmm. I mean men like me. Uh, you know, you people nowadays, I see you are meeting and then you go to slaughter a goat like you saw Wamushamba doing and you are starting to, to, to sing and facing Mount Kenya and talking about uh, water and, you know, remembering those things that were being said. And you are now even naming yourselves from those groups as our great, great grandfathers were doing. Are you trying to go back to the caves? You know, that, that, that was... That's as what the we, cartoon is alluding to. Yes, as, 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 <laughs> as, as, as uh, the cartoon is alluding to. But then, then you go then to the heart of the debate and talk to the men themselves and say, you know, we, we must have an identity ourselves. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is who we are. This is where we came from. This is what, what we learned in our history. That our, our, our great-grandfathers used to face uh, Kirinyaga and pray and say, thy. You know, this kind of thing. Mm -hmm. and, 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 you know... Once the debate then gets down to the heart of who those people are and they want to identify with where they came from and their culture, and now you compare it to what the Christian doctrine and the teachings are and the practices are, th then you find that, yes, it is the debate about the place of society 
modernity or modernization. And uh, finally, how we want to be identified. It's, it, it's really about that. And so that debate you know? is not so, about so to stop. It, it, it is, it's no, not going to stop anywhere. Mm -hmm. Because, you see, one thing that is not going to happen, and this is my philosophy about it, is one thing that's not going to happen in, in, the, in the African uh, countries or culture is you're not going to have a perfect scenario, whether we like it or not, whereby we are going to, repl to replicate New York in Nairobi mm -hmm. or in Kiambu. I mean, the life that... And that, that, should, and uh, that will uh, apply uh, even to Christianity London, as it, well. Uh, you know, there is no way you're going to be able to carry their culture and uh -huh. paste it on ours and, 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 and uh, override ours or erase it forever, such that you have a complete, uh, you know, uh, uh, copy and paste of what they are. Okay. We, you find that the remnants of who we are, no matter how strong uh, all the other teachings will come, you will still find its way. How do we succeed? How do we get out of it? The, the, the best way to get out of it is to get the best blend. The best blend is of our cultures, of who we are, and, and live uh, the Christian life wow. amidst it. That is a yeah. very interesting one. If you were going to get a, a blend of the cultures, Christianity, polygamy, well, definitely the debate will continue.